Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the diagnostic criteria of systemic lupus erythematosus, a autoimmune condition that's commonly known as SLE. So we're going to be looking at the new SCR and ULAB criteria for classification of SLE. So one thing you need to know is there is a criteria that is used, okay? And then before you even get to the criteria, there's something that needs to be positive for you to even refer to the criteria. So let's talk about that. So all patients classified as having SLE must have a serum type of anti-nuclear antibody of at least 1 to 80 on human epithelial to positive cells or an equivalent positive test. So the first thing that's needed is having positive ANA, anti-nuclear antibody or an equivalent test, a serum type of what? 1 to 80. Then after that is when you go to, in addition, a patient must tally at least 10 points from this criteria, the criteria that we're going to be talking about. So a criteria is not counted if it has a more likely explanation than SLE. So one thing you need to take notice, for example, we have fever on the criteria, but you know a patient has an infection, so most likely they're going to have fever. So then it has a more likely explanation than SLE, so we're not going to count that point. And then occurrence of the criteria only once is sufficient to tally the relevant points. And the time when a patient is positive from one criteria need not overlap with the time when the patient is positive for other criteria. Then SLE classification requires points from at least one clinical domain. And if a patient is, more, is positive for more than one criteria in a domain, only the criteria with the highest point value counts. Is that clear? Okay. So this clinical domain and immunological domain. Under clinical domain, again, we have got various domains. In total, there are seven subdomains, okay? So this constitutional domain, fever, which carries two points, cutaneous domain, non-scarring alopecia, two points, oral ulcers, two points, subacute cutaneous or discoid lupus, four points, acute cutaneous lupus, six points. Arthritis domain, synovitis in at least two joints or tenderness in at least two joints and at least 30 minutes of morning stiffness, that carries six points. Neurologic domain, delirium two points, psychosis three points, seizures five points, cirrhosis domain, pleural or pericardial effusion five points, acute pericarditis six points. Hematologic domain, leukopenia 3 points, thrombocytopenia 4 points, autoimmune hemolysis 4 points. Renal domain, proteinuria greater than 0 0.5 grams in 24 hours 4 points, class 2 O5 lupus nephritis 8 points, class 3 O4 lupus nephritis 10 points. Immunologic domain, antiphospholipid antibody domain, anticardiolipin IgG greater than 40 GPL or anti-beta 2 GP1 IgG greater than 40 units or lupus anticoagulant, this carries 2 points. Complement proteins domain, low C3 or low C4, 3 points, low C3 and low C4, 4 points. So basically if one of the C3 or C4 is low, then you get 3 points, but if both C3 and C4 are low, then you get 4 points. Highly specific antibodies domain. If this anti double stranded DNA antibody, you get 6 points. Anti Smith antibody, 6 points. So basically, this is the same diagram. Just put it in a different way, but it's exactly the same. So remember, the first thing we needed was what? Being positive for anti nuclear antibody with a title of, if you remember, 1 greater than 1, or 8, 1 to 80. Then if it's absent, you do not classify as SLE. But if it is, that's when you refer to the additive criteria. Okay, basically that's it. And yeah, so you only classify as SLE with a score of 10 or more if entry criteria is fulfilled. So first they're supposed to have ANA and then they're supposed to have at least 10 points from the domain. So there were a few words that were mentioned that we did not really define. So let's talk about the malar rash. That's basically fixed erythema, flat orange over the malar aminescence. Discoid rash, erythematous circular raised patches with adherent keratotic scaling and follicular plugging, atrophic scarring may occur. Photosensitivity, exposure to ultraviolet light causes rash, oral ulcers, includes oral and nasopharyngeal ulcers observed by physician. Arthritis, non-erosive arthritis of two or more peripheral joints with tenderness, swelling or effusion. Cirrhositis, 
pleuritis or pericarditis documented by ECG or rub or evidence of effusion. Renal is order proteinuria greater than 0.5 grams per day or 3 plus protein and urinalysis or cellular casts. Neurologic disorder seizures or psychosis without other causes. So if the patient has another neurological condition and then they present with seizures, then that is not going to fall under SLA. Hematologic disorder, hemolytic anemia or leukopenia which is less than 4000 per litre or lymphopenia less than 1500 per litre or thrombocytopenia which is less than 100,000 per litre in the absence of offending drugs. Immunologic disorder, anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-S-strain antibody and or antiphospholipid.